Assalamu alaikum grade sixes. So we are continuing with decimal notation division, right? I'm gonna go into it um a little more detail than before so that those of you who don't understand will be able to understand now, okay? So let's look at this example here. Okay, we are gonna convert this decimal uh notation into a fraction. So remember what I told you guys the last time, okay? 0 0.75 uh, converted into a fraction right we are going to be moving in an opposite way right so we are going to look at how many zeros there are in the denominator sorry we are going to look at how many spaces we are going to move till we get to the end of the number and we move one two spaces that means that whatever our number is divided by needs to have two zeros therefore we have 75 over 100 now we can further simplify that there's a mistake here Okay, 75 divided by fi 5 is actually 15, okay? And 100 divided by 5 is actually 20. Now, we can further divide this. We can say 15 divided by 5, and we are going to get 3. We can further say 20 divided by 5, and we will get 4. We cannot simplify it any further, so this, so 0 0.75 also means 3 over 4. Let's look at the next example here. You can um, convert these numbers here into a decimal uh, fraction, sorry, into decimal notation by counting the zeros, okay? So 4 tenths, 4 over 10, can also be written as 0 0.4 because it is divided by the 10, okay? we The comma is here. I explained this before. It's after the numbers, so we move one space to the left because we are dividing and it becomes 0 0.4 the same thing goes for this number here 25 divided by 100 there are two zeros so we are going to move two spaces one two zero goes in front so it's going to be 0 0.25 so 4 over 10 can be written as 0 0.4 and 25 over 100 can be written as 0 0.25 okay um, let's look at this example here. Now, how would you calculate, how would you convert these numbers here into a decimal form? The first thing you are going to do is you are going to convert the denominators into a number with zeros. For example, uh, either 10 or 100 or 1000. And remember, whatever you do to the bottom numbers to get it, to 10 or 100 you must do it to the uh, numerator as well uh, otherwise your answer will be incorrect so 1 over 5 we can easily see that 5 can be converted into 10 by timesing it by 2 so we say 5 times 2 and whatever we do to the denominator we do to the numerator so we're going to say 1 times 2 so it means 2 over 10 now we can easily convert it to a decimal the comma is here because there's one zero in the 10 we are going to move one space right put the comma and then we're going to have zero so it's going to be 0 0.2 now this is here this one here gets a bit complicated three over four four cannot go into 10 so we have to move to the next number which is 100 okay you will notice that when you times four by 25 you will get 100 so whatever we do to the denominator, we do to, to the numerator as well. So 4 times 25 is going to give us 100. 3 times 25 is going to give us 75. So we are going to do the same thing. Our comma is here. Because there's two zeros in 100, we are going to say 1, 2. We are moving to the left because we are dividing. Okay, I did explain that in the previous videos. I hope you guys remember. So it's going to be 0 0.75. Okay, I hope you guys understand. Assalamu alaikum.